Welcome back to another vlog. I hope you're all having an amazing day today. I know I am for sure. So I just had a great and successful night's sleep here at the Jonesville Park and Ride. I'm just gonna get up and go up Route 70, which is called Trail of the Lonesome Pine Road, and check out Virginia's most unique waterfall. It's called Kyle's Ford Falls. It's gonna be pretty cool. Real quick, I just wanted to mention, if you watched the entire 38 minute video of me going inside the famous Cumberland Gap Cave uh, in the last video, uh, thank you, you're a true fan. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> it was pretty cool. But basically a little update uh for the end of that video is uh my kfc was pretty good after i left the original kfc restaurant i stopped at the uh verizon store and batteries plus to see if they have a replacement battery for my mobile hotspot couldn't find one so that's okay i mean my unlimited data is not truly unlimited for those of you who don't know i have 30 gigs uh, a month of mobile hotspot data which is just a thing on my phone you know the little personal tether thing and that uh updates on the 16th so i don't have any data right now to upload this stuff using my laptop so i just have to upload everything on my phone <laughs> again like i mentioned in a previous video i don't really know how well the rumble app is gonna work but it's a possibility I might upload maybe one or two videos over on my backup channel, uh, a YouTube channel, just as a test to see if they stay on there. But I'm not quite decided if I really want to upload all this stuff to my YouTube channel, but I might do it. You never know. <laughs> Another thing I wanted to mention real quick is I have a Freedom Convoy sticker in the back of my van, which is pretty awesome. <laughs> Uh, I mentioned this in my Exploring Claytor Lake State Park video. I also said in there that the front steering system in my van is equivalent to something you would find an 18-wheeler. And you all know about my activism stuff. <laughs> you know, like my Save Humanity billboard over here underneath of my photography wall, <laughs> which is pretty interesting. Also a big poster on the side of my van and two in my back windows and then one up there in my uh, front windshield and one in my dash, which is cool. <laughs> which you've probably uh, been seeing for a while now in the beautiful footage, you know, my dash cam, you know, it reflects up on there when I drive, which is cool. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it was pretty awesome. I feel really a part of the whole Freedom Convoy protest movement thing. I uh, watched a video by Stu Peters last night on Rumble. Uh, if you don't know who he is, I highly recommend checking him out. He has over 325,000 subscribers now and is like, I think the number one show of all time, basically. He's crushing the ratings, so if you're watching this, Stu, keep up the great work. Uh, it's crazy how you're actually able to interview so many people to come on your uh, channel, you know, video and podcast. <laughs> because I think it is a podcast too, which is pretty cool. <laughs> so if you don't know what Rumble is, basically, uh, is what you're watching on here. They're a new, uh, semi-new, I guess, video platform. That's basically the new YouTube because YouTube's a piece of junk, basically. You don't, Susan Wojcicki clearly doesn't care about your First Amendment right. <laughs> but yeah, Rumble, uh, I'm, I'm not too sure who the person who created it. I'll probably put the person's name here on the screen. But yeah, apparently they're based up there in Toronto, Ontario, and Canada. And I think they have like a few hundred thousand people on here so far. So that's pretty nice. So if you like what I do, please hit that subscribe button and come along for the ride because, well, this part of my van life venture has been a lot of fun. <laughs> so on this trip specifically, I got this video and one more video after this, and then I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> uh, for one, I gotta fix the speed range vibration on my van, and 
I don't know, uh, gas is pretty expensive right now, so who'd really think of you going anywhere else? But in April, like I said uh, in an another video somewhere, I'm going to completely make it up as I go. I'll make any plan and go anywhere. I'm probably going to flip a coin, <laughs> most likely. But yeah, here's my van, if you don't know what I live in. It's a 2006 Chevy Express 2500 standard gas cargo van that I converted to living space all by myself in a matter of two days, which is awesome. <laughs> Uh, the conversion video is uh, 38 minutes, and it's on my YouTube channel. I think it has over 600 views now. <laughs> but check this out. Here's a quick little tour. This is basically the ends. I'm just chilling right here in my bed. Here's my nightstand. I have two screws in the side here with this bungee cord holding the drawers in place. So everything pretty much stays secure in here. Here's my little rug. It's a pretty nice vinyl floor. I have plywood underneath and insulation. There's my little doorstep my buddy heater in the safe and everything and if you don't know my photography wall there is 196 pictures all for my four-year journey to van life from september of 2017 to february of 2020 it's pretty sweet there's my rumble channel qr code and there's my show howdy recreation area of benton tennessee picture little five by seven print I bought from Shutterfly. That's my most favorite place on earth and it always will be. And it's like a heavenly oasis paradise. <laughs> it's super cool. Got that picture with my drone in January earlier this year. And I can't wait to revisit it and revisit it and revisit it. That was the second time I've gone there. <laughs> so it's that awesome. <laughs> Also, my swimming trunks are still down there in the doorstep, but they're probably still wet. If you don't know, I made a fail video <laughs> where I uh, attempted to jump off the Norris Lake Bridge in Tennessee, but I didn't because the water is super freaking cold. But anyway, there's a quick little summary of my life. <laughs> or overview, whatever you want to call it. If you want to know more about me, just check out my photography website in the link below. And there's a little post over there in the top right section called My Life Story. And if my YouTube channel is still around, then watch my channel trailer. <laughs> so anyway, I'm just gonna open my curtains real quick, start up my van, and hit the road. <sighs> my freaking goodness, dude. I can't believe I just passed my turn twice. <laughs> but somehow I successfully made it all the way up here to the trailhead. Check this out. I just simply parked here on the side of this little clearing off the side of this extremely fucking dang back road. <laughs> but look at that. It's a two-lane road down there. It's pretty cool. Here's a ginormous red barn. There's a little bit of gravel back here. I turned around so I can actually uh, get out of here uh, safely and stuff. <laughs> But check this out. Look at all this freaking mud on my van now. All because I passed my turn and there's a little turnaround spot somewhere down there. Um, well, I mean, <laughs> it is what it is. It's just a little bit of mud, really. It's not the end of the world. <laughs> so when I get back to my mom's house, I'll definitely be cleaning this thing off. But not anytime soon, because clearly it's sprinkling right now and my van is just gonna continue to get even more dirty, so who gives a crap? But anyway, there's my van again. Oh my goodness, I freaking love van life. <laughs> it's so much fun. And for those of you who watched a uh, few videos ago where I climbed the abandoned Chuck Swan State Forest Fire Tower on the hike down, I broke my umbrella. So I don't even have an umbrella right now. So I guess I'm just gonna get wet, but that's okay. I have another hoodie and plenty of clothes in my van if I needed a change, but look at this. There's a sign here that says quail recovery area. <laughs> That's pretty nice. It says warning, no motorized vehicles allowed beyond this point. Horse horseback riding prohibited. Yep, <laughs> can't really go up there. <laughs> and yep, there's the sign of the name of the place. Looks pretty cool. So just gonna hike up here real quick. <laughs> Check this place out. And it would fly my drone, but the battery's not charged on it. So, and it's sprinkling. I don't really want to risk that. <laughs> but look at this. This is a cool place down here. <laughs> Later on in the video, I'll check out what's inside that barn. So keep watching. <laughs> look how nice this is. This is a super cool area. Looks like there's a pole gate up here. Obviously. So you don't drive up here. <laughs> look at this. It's so freaking quiet up here. <laughs> it's awesome. Oh yeah, if you enjoyed all that scenery of uh, me passing the town of Blackwater and that ginormous rusted out bridge on the right side, 
Please give this video a big thumbs up. <laughs> Super cool here, you. Oh yeah, check this out. It looks like you can see someone's property way over there in the distance. <laughs> looks like there's kind of like a little pathway over there. And apparently this trail actually goes uphill. And it looks like it's 1.4 miles. So... I'm just gonna get to hiking, and I don't really know if I'll film anything along the way, maybe a little bit of beer roll, but honestly, I don't feel like picking up along the way. I just wanna get down here to the waterfall and raw on out, <laughs> because I kinda have a drive in tomorrow's video. So, yeah, <laughs> look how nice this is, man. It is extremely peaceful out here. <laughs> Well, that was a super short hike. <laughs> I made it all the way up here to the falls. Look at this. Boom. <laughs> this is awesome, dude. Look how huge that is. I've been to so many waterfalls throughout my entire freaking, I don't even know how long, four and a half years since I've been traveling, <laughs> making these adventure logs. I think I've probably been to at least a half a dozen waterfalls. Look how cool this is, man. <laughs> this is awesome. I think there might be a little swimming hole up there. I don't think I'm gonna go any further because it's extremely muddy back here and very slippery. So I highly recommend coming here if you're ever in the area. Uh, actually, I even more highly recommend it. I definitely recommend it. <laughs> I think you'll have a really great time. I probably have a better time in the uh, summer, but it is still pretty cool right now <laughs> in March, which is like super early spring. Uh, you know, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to say. This is a nice place. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just be careful because that pathway there, literally, it's like the main pathway leading in here. It's literally on the side of a freaking mountain. <laughs> Look how crazy that is, dude. It's very slippery, like I just said. <laughs> but anyway. Look at all this moss, dude. So much moss all over the place. <laughs> on the logs, on the rocks, and everything. So yeah. <laughs> I bet you uh, a lot of people come up here in the summer and go swimming. This place might be rel relatively busy. <laughs> Look how cool this is. There's a lot of little old leaves up on the trees up there. I don't know what to be up there. I mean, there could be an overlook, but I ain't going up there, dude. <laughs> Looks pretty cool, though, nonetheless. And yeah, I guess I'm just going to relax, grab a picture. And then check out that barn down there later on. <laughs> Look how cool this is, man. Oh my goodness. Check this thing out up here. It looks like it's not even that much of a swimming hole at all. It's just a ledge. Look at that ginormous falling down tree that's just laying on the uh, actual waterfall thing. Look at this. <laughs> this is crazy. It's straight up looks like a water slide. <laughs> it's just a massive rock ball of some sort. Look at that. Looks like there's uh, more of the tree right there. And there's the base of the waterfall where it's all flowing down. It doesn't look that big. It's probably around about, I don't know, like 50 feet at the most or something. It doesn't look like there's much of anything over there from what I can see. It just looks like the rest of the mountain. <laughs> and look at this, man. Like, there's a ginormous dead tree just chilling up there. I don't know what the heck all this little, you know, sub setting, you know, and foaming little weird little crap is in the creek. <laughs> there was a little bit more of that down there that hopefully you saw in the, uh, the footage. <laughs> but this is interesting, man. Tennessee. Like, you have the most unique places. <laughs> but yeah, this is uh, in Tennessee. It's basically right on the state line of Tennessee and Virginia. Uh, I don't know if I said uh, Virginia at the beginning of this video, 
but I really meant Tennessee. <laughs> it was pretty hilarious. Originally, when I made the title of this video, I thought it was in Virginia. Nope, this is in Tennessee. <laughs> it's cool, man. This is a super awesome place. I always wonder, like, who in the heck even lives out here <laughs> in the middle of nowhere? I guess it's just your average, ordinary American citizen. Look how cool this is. Obviously, I mentioned earlier that uh, my last video was me uh, going inside the uh, famous Cumberland Gap cave. But somewhere throughout that video, I was hiking on the trail and I stopped to let you hear about 10 seconds of a bunch of frogs up in the uh, swamp and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, I decided to stop here real quick. <laughs> I just had to put this in the video. It's pretty cool, isn't it? <laughs> There's a bunch of frogs out here and a cool little bird up there in the tree. <laughs> Just gonna go ahead and hop over this thing real quick. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> oh my goodness, well that was fun. <laughs> This is a fun little adventure. I still, I don't know why I don't just, you know, spend more time in these places. Why don't I just come down here and make a video and immediately roll out? Why do I do that? <laughs> it makes no sense. <laughs> it's 10 o'clock right now. I could spend a whole nother hour here if I wanted to. But look at me. <laughs> I'm heading out. <laughs> look how cool this view is. Obviously, you've already seen this in some of the footage. Dude, this is like wild, man. What on earth? earth <laughs> this is such a cool area it's a little creepy but i like it it's cool i bet you this place would be a lot better in the summer and uh, the spring or at least when the sun is out because as you can tell it's completely cloudy right now <laughs> but yeah look how cool that is you know i've also seen in the footage that up that way there's a trail that goes to some kind of uh I don't know, a little random attraction or something. <laughs> I forgot what the sign said. Think of some kind of like recreation center or something. We gotta check out this view. This is crazy out here. my breath and it was hilarious <laughs> please comment below what you thought about me running all the way down here to the beginning of this place <laughs> I wonder what is inside this barn huh doesn't really look like anything really I mean, it really just looks completely abandoned <laughs> oh my goodness look how cool this is man this is kind of creepy in here don't really know what that is on the ground. Looks relatively new. There's a bunch of hay and stuff. Looks like there's some kind of old little furniture thing of some sort. And then I don't think there's much of anything back there besides that tarp. <laughs> and there's a big hole in the ground right here. This is insane. I bet you this is a sinkhole. Looks like somebody moved this rock out of the way. Why do the people freaking do that? No, I'm not gonna move it. <laughs> I can move it back into place. I don't know what all these little holes are right here. Could be a little insect colony or something. Looks like there's some kind of abandoned uh, car frame or something. It's like a little abandoned car frame with the tires still on it. <laughs> what in the heck? <laughs> this is hilarious. But look at this man, dude. Seriously. I don't know if I've said it, said it enough. Van life is literally the best lifestyle in the world. <laughs> There ain't nothing else better than this. So to keep this up, please uh, check out my Patreon in the link below. Because gas is getting pretty expensive. <laughs> Look how cool this is, man. It's nice little plants and stuff and little trees. And yeah, simple spot. Not much up here at all. It's kind of foggy up there. Looks like the rain might be picking up a little. So I'm just going to hop back in here real quick. <laughs> and I guess I'll just go ahead and wrap up this video right here. So, like always... Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next adventure.